Hi, this is Bride Charlisa coming back to you with another video. I want to bring your attention to Mad Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Um, Chris from Real Ride Share Stories is doing a campaign um, for the next couple of weeks uh, about um, the dangers of drinking and drug driving. So us as cre uh, content creators are going to be helping them out, uh, maybe doing our own videos, uh, putting it out there. Uh, the GoFundMe that Chris has set up, letting people know that how dangerous drinking and driving is. Um, I have a link to the GoFundMe. I have a link to um, Chris's um, channel. Last year, he did a wig campaign on the dangers of drinking and driving, and I have that in my um, description. Also, um, on MAD, I, the website, check them out. I um, have the uh, victim's impact study below in my description. And I wanted to read a couple of them. They're very impressive. Um, what they do is between victims and um, the offenders, they, they go to these impact studies, um, these groups, and they give their stories. And for families who have lost somebody to drinking and driving it helps with building closure it helps um the person who's actually committed the offense oh gosh you know not feel better about themselves but understand what they did and how wrong it is i mean because there's a lot of people i mean people don't realize how dangerous drinking and driving is they they think well it won't happen to them until it does so let me read a couple of these um stories that um i found off the mad website and the first one is this panel raised my awareness about the risks of drinking impaired i will never drive drunk again I didn't see how many people my actions imp impacted until I heard from the victims. It only took a few hours, but I will remember the messages forever. So, definitely check out the website. I mean, drinking and driving is... It's something that it's it's like it seems like it's something that can be controlled like people don't have to drink and drive but until they're affected by it it seems like they don't understand the risk because there's not a lot of materials out there there's not a lot of stuff for people to realize that drinking and driving is a bad thing People will go to a bar and they will leave. Like, a lot of times because bars need money, so they take their money, but they don't tell them that they shouldn't be driving or call them Ubers. I've had a couple um, of bars that I went to to pick up a customers where the bar actually called the, called the Uber for the customer and they left their car there you know um it's very rare but it does happen but i know a lot of people hate picking people up when they've been drinking um fridays and saturday nights because they're aggressive and they're loud and they're obnoxious you know but taking them home means saving another life maybe two lives um because they're not on the road. They're in your car and you're driving safely. So someone's going to live tonight. Um, I don't know how many people I picked up and brought them to their car that they had left at the bar from the night before. You know, and those are people who are concerned that about drinking and driving. Maybe something has already happened to them in their past and they don't, you know, they don't want to get caught again or they don't want to do it again. Um, I've also had people in my car where they said, oh yeah, I paid $10,000, $15,000 to get out of it. If you drink and drive 
and you cause harm to other people, I don't want to hear how you want to get out of it. You you do the crime, you do the time. You know, as that saying goes. But still, people are unaware. People don't pay attention until their license are taken away, until they go to jail, until someone dies. I don't know. Sometimes, even with... um people who have been drinking or are impaired while they're driving they don't even um, the reason why a lot of people ask me why do they live and the victims who you know the person who's in the car just driving and they're the ones who always get killed and it's always because of the fact that they're they see what's going on the victim sees what's going on so they clutch and they scream they yell they tighten up their muscles tighten up and when the impact of the car hits them that's it but the person who's been doing the drinking or is impaired by drugs or whatever they're impaired by you know they think it's funny they're not sure what's going on you know and I have a story um, when I was in the fire department we actually had a firefighter who ended up going to a call to a DOA of his own son because the person that was driving the van was drinking. The van ended up in the, the, the boy took the turn really tight. The van ended up in the tree. And when we got to the call, his son was mangled in that van. Now, how would you want to be that person to find your child dead at a, a drunken driving site. It's, it's the most worst thing. I did not have any words for this man. I didn't. I couldn't tell you what to think because it doesn't happen. It's, it's not supposed to happen to you, but it does. And then when it does, that's when everybody's aware. So, I just want everybody to look at GoFundMe. If they want to donate, they can donate. If you can't, please share the GoFundMe on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on your Instagram. And if you're a content creator, please make videos. Please um, read up on MAD, the Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Read up on the organization and how long they've been around and what good they do and what happens every year. I was reading in there and it said like 30,000 people are killed every year. 29 people a day are killed from drinking and driving. That is incredible. 29 people a day. So I know we're going through a lot right now with the coronavirus and everything's happening. But even sharing the GoFundMe to somebody who is working or has the extra money who can donate would be great. All right. So look in my description. In my description, I have um, Chris's um, channel. Last year, he did a a whole week long video. Um, He has a a playlist on drinking, on the dangers of drinking and driving. So I added that into my description. I have got Mad's um, website in there. The impact part of the website I also have um, the GoFundMe link in my description. And that, like Steve said, real um, the Ride Cheer Rookie who also put out a video, that will be all that's in my description so there's no confusion. Um, just click on one of those and you'll see what's going on. But until the, everybody's going to be aggressively doing this for the next two weeks until Chris um, from Real Ride Cheer Stories does his live 24-hour live stream, November 1st. All right. We all want to be around for that. So definitely take a look at um, the description. See if there's anything you can do. You can help. You can share. Okay. Because all you got to do is hit that share button and you'll copy the link and then just pass it around. Okay. Um, take a look at these videos and just it's, it's heartening. It's, you know, it's what it is what it is. But us as Uber and Lyft drivers, we have the chance to make it a little bit smaller by picking these people up, even though 
They drive us crazy. They drive me nuts. All right. So everybody have a great night. Please take a look at my description below. And please never drink and drive. Have a good night. Bye-bye.